Welcome back to Vote 2024 with me, Camilla Tomney. Well, we've had tomato soup thrown over Van Gogh's sunflowers painting at the National Gallery. We've had major sporting events, including Wimbledon, the second Ashes Test, and indeed the World Snooker Championships turned orange at Sheffield. We've had a damaging of the case around the Magna Carta at the British Library, Stonehenge sprayed with orange powder, and now a break-in at Stansted Airport and orange paint sprayed on what protesters thought was Taylor Swift's jet. It wasn't actually her jet at all, it was somebody else's. Let's discuss this with Just Stop Oil's Adrian Johnson. Adrian, can I begin by asking what on earth you're playing at? Uh, Camilla, thank you so much for having me on your programme. Um, Camilla, let us just remind ourselves, please, what's going on, OK? We have one in seven people in the United States under a heat dome right now. We've literally had 12 months of unbroken heating uh, that smashed through the safety mm. guardrail of 1.5 degrees of heating. We've got thousands yeah. of pilgrims making their the Hajj pilgrim and dying from heat. Uh, we've got people going for walks in Greece and not coming back. These are not ordinary mm. times. We, Why we, does we that can justify see. criminal damage? That that justifies a response, and so we are calling upon. Well, why our does it government justify to make criminal damage? Why, why does it justify you breaking into an airport, which is a massive security breach? Okay, I would put it to you, uh, Camilla, and I would put it to your listeners and your, your viewers that the massive security breach is from our own gov government pursuing policies that are leading to mass death and suffering. No, the security breach was the two protesters who broke into Stansted Airport literally with pliers. So I don't understand why you think that this protest justifies criminal behaviour. Because this is what we need to do to take action against our government. No, you don't. We're calling component... You're losing the argument because what's happening is no one's talking about the cause anymore. People are just talking about how annoying Just Stop Oil are and how you've crossed the Rubicon from peaceful and acceptable protest to criminal damage. So no one's talking about the climate. They're absolutely fed up of you. So you're getting the publicity, but no one's talking about what you really want them to talk about, which is the climate emergency. They're just thinking to themselves, why don't just stop oil, just stop? Uh, well, Camilla, with respect, people have been talking about the climate over the last 24 hours because of the action that we've taken. And also you, no. made, you made a really interesting point there about crossing a Rubicon. And I put it to you, that w the, the line that we are not going to cross, and we will never cross this, is that line of taking violent action. We believe and we fully support non-violent action. Now, that does include criminal action, but that falls under the, the, um, the, the banner of civil disobedience. And civil disobedience is actually recognised by international law as being an important and necessary part mm. of a healthy and functioning democracy. That's why we take this form of action. OK, but what has Stonehenge, for instance, and the people that work there done to deserve this? I mean, one imagines that the type of people that gather at Stonehenge for the summer solstice are the types of people who probably are quite proud of the amount of recycling they do. So what on earth are you doing attacking Stonehenge? Rishi Sunak said it was absolutely disgraceful. Keir Starmer agreed. The vast majority of people in this country look at that action and think it's utterly pathetic and self-defeating. But, Camilla, you know, when we look at Stonehenge, we see a beautiful monument, and it, it's a celebration of 5,000 years of human achievement and 5,000 years of civilization that has flourished because we have had, up until this point, a stable climate. And we've been able to predict and rely on it to give us the food that we need to eat. And, Camilla, mm -hmm. that 5,000 years is about to come to... It's about to be obliterated unless we take mm -hmm. action. And so we're calling on our government... Is there any reason why you don't take your protest to the Chinese embassy? who are continuing to build power stations and are responsible for a vast majority of the world's carbon emissions, certainly dwarfing those produced by the UK? That's a really good point and a really good question. The so thing will is you that, protest Camilla, there next? Um, I'm not sure what our plans are next, to be perfectly okay. honest. But it's a, it's a good point. But China... To be clear, their emissions per person are exactly the same as the emissions per person in the United Kingdom. And that's for a nation that makes 
most of okay. the stuff that we buy and import. All right. Adrian Johnson, I think we're going to have to disagree agreeably, but thank you very much indeed for joining okay. me this thank evening. We've run me. out of time. Thank you.